Morning, guys. So, I bought this thing a while back. Um, this is some big old man killer Black and Decker hand drill. This particular one was actually set up as a carpet roller. It had this 90 degree gearbox on it, and it was sort of winding up carpet was my understanding like when they were pulling it out of hallways and stuff but anyways I bought it much cheaper I think I gave a hundred bucks for it than what you can buy a drill this size but obviously it's not a lot of use to me that way so here a while back I bought a whole box of uh, chocks you can see collection air off in a guy on Facebook marketplace for 50 bucks and one of the things that was in there was this beat up old Jacobs um, what is this this is a 18 n <laughs> So three quarter inch capacity chuck, and then it was on this shank. So what I want to do is I want this mounted on here, but the mounting systems are incompatible. So I'm gonna commit a crime here. I've knocked it off from the uh, shank. I'm getting ready to drill. You can see I got drill bit in my headstock, and I got this mounted tailstock. Drill through the middle of there, and then ream it. <clears throat> And once I've got it drilled and reamed, I'm going to cut off as much of it as I need and key that thing. And then uh, slip it on here with some Loctite and make it a basically permanent part of this motor shaft that allows me to mount regular Jacob's chucks on the end of it. So that's what we're up to. I like to cut it off nice and square, but it's a little tricky because it's tapered and yeah. 
older than I am. May have been abused once or twice by a kid in his dad's shop. This whole set was around when I was a kid and I did a lot of screwing around when I was a kid experimenting and building stuff. Same kind of kooky stuff Wiggles does. Anyways, it's hard to say what I may have shoved that thing through when I was a kid. So it's entirely possible that it may not be as sharp as it started off. Let's see here. I need to get that thing popped on through there. I really want to shove my whole guide block out with this. That's my only option. That would be pretty easy. So I have one very thin shim here that's something my dad made. What I got in mind to do now is we're only going to take small bites. That first one you're kind of locked in. You have to take, I mean, it's just dictated by what the brooch and the guide sleeve is to begin with. But now, Less aggressive of a chomp through there. This will probably be about my last cast. It might be a little shallow, but I don't want to ch fall off and chop my uh, sleeve in half, basically. I knew it was all going to come out pretty close to begin with. Plenty of QA, even if I got to shave down my uh, key a bit, that's not the end of the world. All right, well, the old brooch survived. I was a little paranoid that first shove through there, I could see it flexing pretty good. You don't get away with a whole lot of that before bad things ensue. Here she is. Didn't want to focus, but you get the idea. We got a keyway through there. All right, so this all fits nice. Um, 
I cut my key a little on the shallow side, and it turns out they did the same thing in the shaft. Probably both of us for the same reason, trying not to uh, weaken or undermine our parts too much. So anyways, I got to go shave. Um, I got I measured it 150 thousandths key height, and this is 1.1875, I think. Anyway, so I got to go buzz, you know, 35 thou or so off from this thing, well, 37. So anyways, I'm going to go give this thing a shave job, and then we'll see how she fits. I had that sticking out quite a ways because <clears throat> that last project I was doing, I needed to clear my spindle nose. But <clears throat> for this, we don't need that. So. Before I lock my spindle bearings. I was trying to shoot for just under that 150 number, so I knew I wouldn't be tight. All right, shut the freak guy down. Get out of here. All right, key tapped right in there. So, <clears throat> moment of truth has arrived. I think I'm going to set this camera up on a stand, and we're going to swat us a chuck on it. Give 
even a little bit of oil on these really screws with how well they grab. So, and get this all squeaky, squeaky clean though, and obviously chips are a no-go. Now here's the question. I don't want to cry like crazy, but how attached is that? Kind of what I thought. I slid it on there by hand, and now she don't budge. That's good. What that means is that I successfully it's squeezing that sleeve down enough that she's just straight up getting bite. There we have it. Now we got a real main killer drill. I want this to run the boring rig that we're playing with run, uh, creating today. So anyway, that is nice. Key in there. I'm very happy. Like I say, I think I give 120 bucks for this thing or something. <clears throat> and had in mind to do this with it all along. I just hadn't got around to it. So now we got a gnarly, gnarly man killer drill. All right, let's get on to the rest of our projects today.